I'm going to start a healing, or attempted healing. Um, what's your name? Anne. Anne, okay. So, you mind if I sit you have a seat? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a short meditation. I know we're short on time, but I'm going to do like a one minute meditation just to connect and root myself, protect myself. It's like a protective rooting meditation. And then I'm going to start working in and around her head using medical qigong so i'm not going to touch her and i'm just going to pull i'm going to sense the energy and see if i can find any what we call turbid stagnant energy and pull that out and then bring some good energy into the body so i'll be taking energy out and putting good energy in and do you have any questions no i don't think so <laughs> okay so i've never met her before and uh, she has a headache uh, level five four five you said? yeah okay and where do you feel it? Um, it's mostly right here. Okay, so it's a frontal headache, could be related to sinuses. So medical qigong uh, is excellent for headaches and usually I can help headaches a great deal. So we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna go silent a little bit here, um, but I will, as I go, I'll briefly kind of explain what I'm doing. All right. So I'm gonna do a short meditation. We're going to begin working on her, enveloping her with protective energy. And I'm just going to start uh, scanning her head and feeling what's going on. And I'm basically, if you've ever put your hand in front of a television set, an old television set, the static you feel, sometimes that's what it feels like. Like I just feel energy coming off of the head and when I start feeling that I pull it out. Most headaches, there, you know, there's physical components to a headache, but there's also a lot of energetic components on it uh, with a headache. In other words, most headaches will not show up on an MRI. So let's see what we feel. And you're welcome to give any feedback as to what you're feeling at any time. I'd encourage that. She might feel different, different sensations, some comfortable and relaxing, some maybe not. I feel like so my, heart right, my heart is quickening. <laughs> okay, are you nervous? Mm -mm. Or, or is it something energetic? I'm excited. Okay. She's excited and she's feeling her heart. So I'm going to check out her heart and I'm going to see if I need to purge a little there. Normally, if she was in my office, I would do a full body treatment and work various areas of the body. Since we're short on time, I'm just going right to her head, so I might need to purge some other um, energy centers in her body. I'm feeling lightheaded now. Say again? I'm feeling lightheaded. Lightheaded. Uncomfortably so? No. Okay. Just different. Okay. If you're uncomfortable, let me know. Okay. Sometimes with energy work, you know, you can feel spacey or lightheaded. Um, sometimes I have to do grounding and rooting uh, techniques to prevent that. So please give feedback as we go. And my palms are sweating. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> but you're not nervous. No, I'm not scared of Okay. Okay. Whew, but I'm really feeling lightheaded now. Okay. So what I'm going to do, she's feeling lightheaded, so I'm going to uh, ground her energy downward. So bring your feet out. Farther. Troubleshooting. Yes. <laughs> I was just letting them know this is definitely <laughs> some energy moving around here. Yeah. So tell me how you're feeling as I do this. Better, worse, same? A little better. Okay. Take a few deep breaths. Better or worse, same? Mm, about the same. About the same? Still lightheaded? A little bit. It's okay. nice though. Okay. So I'm just going to touch her lower back and kind of bring the energy down. 
there's probably too much energy coming, stimulating up around the head and it's just making her feel a little spacey. Energy work in general is uh, sometimes you hit speed bumps and sometimes, you know, stuff happens. Um, I write in my book of a patient I had. She had um, a lot of emotional trauma. She was abused as a child and she would literally writhe on the table when I worked on her. Um, I thought I would stop. Um, I thought I was hurting her. Um, she encouraged me to keep going. I called my teacher. He said, keep going. He, she just needs to be purged, you know. Um, we kept going and ended up transforming her life. She got rid of a lot of lifelong pain, trauma, and she became a, a healer herself. So, but sometimes when you're working with people, you have to troubleshoot and work with them so they're comfortable. How are you doing? Good. Better? <laughs> I'm better. This is feeling better. Okay. So now, I okay. don't have a headache anymore. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. So I didn't even really get to work on the head yet, but her headache is better. So she was at a four or five. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have any, like zero right now? Zero. I just feel really cloudy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we moved a lot of energy, even though I just did a little bit and I did some rooting. We obviously moved a lot of energy. Uh, um, she's still a little spacey, lightheaded, which we want to improve, but her headache is gone. So um, I'm just rubbing her lower back right now, sending some energy into her uh, lower dantian and kidneys to root her a little bit. And when I feel like it's, things are good, I'm going to go back to her head and see where that's at. A lot of headaches are just stagnant energy up here. And in Chinese medicine, it's about just bringing that energy down. We call it liver chi rising to the head. Uh, so it's just a matter of bringing the energy down. So some of these rooting techniques can help in, in rooting the energy down. How are you doing? Same. Same? But good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, I, l I guess I lied. I'm touching her now. So. Um, it's much better. Yeah. <laughs> I said I wouldn't touch her, so. Um, but I had to do that for the troubleshooting aspect. Can I work on your head again? You think you're ready? Okay. Yeah? <laughs> let's, let's try it. Okay, if you're uncomfortable. I feel much better. Oh, no, I, would say, okay. I would say. Okay. No yeah. So since the headache is gone, we don't have to go too intense. But I, I would like to just demonstrate, okay. you know, what I do when I do this. So. So I can sense and feel energy. Um, a lot of people don't believe in that, but the body has energy fields around the body and energy coming off of the body. Um, being in an environment like this today where we're all exchanging a lot of energies. The healers are giving energies, psychics, you know, people are pouring out their emotional stuff and healing headaches and so there's a lot of stuff going on. So you, some people, you know, you go home and you feel a little blocked because there's all sorts of energies you can pick up. So a lot of times when I'm healing all day and doing this all day, I'll go home and take an Epsom salt bath just to kind of, it's very cleansing and purging for the body energetically. And it usually makes me feel all better. How are you doing? Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. it's much different okay. this time. <laughs> so good. I, I, I think I'm okay with the, the lightheadedness thing. I think hopefully we're past that. I'm just going to kind of clear out what I was aiming to clear out from the start. Even though our headache is gone, I just want to mm -hmm. kind of settle and balance things. Yeah, this is good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What do you I feel? feel? a lot more grounded, a lot more clear in my head. Yeah. So I teach this to my students. I have a school where I teach people medical qigong, and that's one of the biggest things I teach is rooting the patient. Because sometimes people get rushes of energy, or they feel lightheaded or spacey or uncomfortable, and I just tell people just root the energy down, and uh, usually things will improve. And I'm going to go right to her frontal lobe and sinus area and look at that and purge. Do you feel anything there? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot clearer. Yeah? It's a lot less foggy. Yeah. Thank so you. You're welcome. I got my hand in her back, just kind of stabilizing the energy, sending energy from the back of the head through and, and purging it out. 
So I'm kind of bringing light, good energy through and pulling the stagnant energy out. And usually people with headaches, migraines, sinus problems, TMJ, um, uh, trigeminal neuralgia, Bell's palsy, this is all this, what I'm doing here is really, really effective. So. So I have to be careful myself to kind of shake things out after I work on someone. We call it getting slimed, you know, from Ghostbusters. It's like energetic slime, no offense. Uh, but you can pick up energies, like I said, from other people and patients. And sometimes the energy uh, is not so friendly. Quick story, I, I, when I first learned acupuncture, people in my, my stu uh, fellow classmates um, would talk about negative energy and picking up symptoms from patients. And I was like, nah, I don't know if I believe in that. And I went home after I graduated from school, worked on my dad with acupuncture, <laughs> and he had feet uh, pain for 20 years. <coughs> Couldn't get rid of it, tried everything. I worked on him all weekend, every day, and got rid of his foot pain. But during the weekend, I woke up, every night I woke up three, four, five times peeing, urinating to get up to pee. On the last night I was at my parents, I, um, I, um, I purposely didn't drink any fluids after dinner. I was like, <laughs> you know, I must be drinking too much water or something. Didn't drink anything, went to bed four times, urinated. I'm like, where is this water coming from, you know? And the last day I left, I said, Dad, how are your feet doing? He said, they're great. And guess what else? I haven't woken up to pee all, all weekend. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> like, that energy stuff is real, you know? It's hard to believe at first, but the deeper you go with it, you become a believer. And how are you doing? Great. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Yeah, good. So I'm just going to finish you up here. Strange. and Yeah, yeah, strange and but it worked out yeah. for the best. So, so I'm going to disconnect energetically and root myself a little here. So one of the most important things I teach people in my school is uh, I teach healers how to protect themselves so they're not picking up energy. So I teach people how to feel energy on other people and how to protect themselves from picking up turbid chi or negative energy um, because it's, it is real. So um, for me it's very important because I used to get exhausted after treating just two or three patients. Okay, And I was like, man, I, I don't know if I can do this as a career. I get so tired. And then I learned how to not deplete my energy, and I learned how to purge the negative stuff and cleanse myself after each day. Um, and then everything took off from there. The Qigong helped me become a better healer. And Jesus, Jesus would retreat to the wilderness. He would heal the multitudes, and if you read in the Bible about his healings, he would often retreat right after and spend long periods by himself in the wilderness. I understand that, because when I treat patients, a lot, whether it's a whole week or a busy day, I retreat, I go into meditation, I quiet down, I get away from people because I have to recharge my batteries. I believe Jesus was recharging his batteries because he'd always retreat before and after healing the multitudes. So another similarity. So thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. You feel good? Yes, I do. No pain? A lot clearer. Good. No pain. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. You're welcome. Any questions? Yeah. I'm curious, and I apologize. 